guys, I'm Craig. And today for the Surfball Guy, we're gonna check out the Hayden Shapes Atelier Performance Cruiser. So this is the Atelier Performance Cruiser by Hayden Shapes. If you've been checking this board out, you're familiar with it at all, you might have noticed that there is two models of the Hayden Shapes Atelier, and one is the Cruiser, more of a rounded kind of Malibu looking front end, and then there's the Performance Cruiser. Takes more of your typical performance shortboard outline, pointy nose, but still a very wide and forgiving outline that follows the board from, you know, almost the tip, the whole way to the tail. Uh, I've been writing this in the stock 6.0, which is 6.0, and I think it is 21 three quarters, two and three quarters, and it's exactly 42 liters. So looking over the um, Atelier Performance Cruiser, you know, like I mentioned, it's got a pointy kind of performance shortboard nose, and then it has a widened outline. So when people kind of start to beef up shortboards, they generally add, um, you know, width and thickness to add some volume, um, but it doesn't sometimes kind of change the outline or where the wide points are, you know, how far the wide points go out and stuff like that. But with the Adelie Performance Cruiser, I feel like they've tried to beef out the wide points and hold it as long as they can to keep width throughout the whole board. So not just, you know, in the center at the widest point, tapering into the nose. So what that does, it lets you, you know, really it's an ideal board for someone who's probably progressing to a short board, but still wants something super easy to surf and stable. Um, but what it does, it keeps that nice rail outline from tip to tail. So, you know, people that are bottom turning, progressing through turns, it still has a really nice short board feel along that rail. For bottom turning, cutting back, any sorts of turns. But what you also get, you get this nice width, you know, through the tail, through the, through the center of the board, and then through the nose. So it's still nice and really stable. Gonna be really easy to surf and gonna be super easy to paddle, stay on waves and be really, really stable. Um, the rail, you know, it's two and three quarters, pretty thick for a board um, that I normally ride, but I'd say it feels kind of like a mid full rail. Feels really nice. Across the deck, looking down, it looks fairly flat. You know, it tapers off just nice and gently. It's definitely not flat, but it's not like, you know, running away to a really low rail, but then it just tapers off really nicely. And then it holds a lot of thickness still through this front, you know, at around 12 inches and down, still quite thick through the front. So you're gonna have this nice kind of, and it feels like a nice soft rail, still gonna turn through the water really easy. It's not gonna be too bitey like a low rail, you know, and cut through turns in directions you don't wanna go. And that thickness follows through to the back and under the back foot. If you follow the Surfboard Guide, you've seen some of our reviews. I'm a huge, huge fan of thickness under the back foot. I just feel like, if you're trying to generate speed in good waves or bad, having thickness under my back foot just feels like an absolute accelerator pedal. You know, I'm not trying to like generate, like just pump and pump and pump, just feels very natural. And personally, it's something I really like and I really liked around about the Adelia Performance Cruiser. Um, flipping over the Adelia Performance Cruiser, there's a single concave throughout the whole board. So nice single concave is just gonna be really easy with water. Water's gonna flow through front to back, be really quick across sections, easy to surf, not too much going on and it's a really simple design, proven and it works. Um, so I've had the Atelier Performance Cruiser for a while now, probably the last three months. And funnily enough, I picked it up from Hayden, the guys at Hayden Shapes, one afternoon. Um, next morning, forecast look like it's gonna be nice clean conditions, but look like it's gonna be in that kind of knee to waist high range. Grab the Atelier, put it in the car, put nothing else in the car, no leg rope, you know, ready for a knee high, little rip bowl or shore break session. Um, and I was surprised with some nice, you know, four to five to six foot, Kind of heavy, kind of bigger, um, kind of hollow wedging peaks. With the only board being in the car, um, I took the Atelier out. Uh, and to my surprise, it performed pretty well. Uh, I got some bigger and some better ones, some steeper ones. I was really impressed with how it would drop. You know, it's a big board. You know, it's a wide outline. Um, you know, in those kind of better conditions, I'm probably looking for something more of a short board, a little bit more forgiving an outline. But it definitely felt pretty good. I was surprised how well it handled, you know, drops, pretty like, you know, sudden late kind of turns, trying to get some little head dips and some barrels, um, you know, a couple of good turns, felt really, really good. I think my actually, my only hesitation with the board was that I didn't have a leg rope. So I probably held back on a few other things because I didn't want to be going for any big swims after the board or, or have the board hit anyone. Um, but yeah, I was really stoked on how it performed and it really kind of shocked me. Um, when I grab this, you know, we surf on the east coast of Australia, we get some good and bad conditions. We get a lot of rip bowls and I'm always looking for a board, which is like, the rip bowl slayer. You know, I'm getting onto waves real easy. If that rip starts churning, I'm paddling real easy. I'm not just battling against it again, sucked down the beach. And I was like, this thing is gonna be the absolute, absolute rip bowl slayer. So I got some footage, pretty average rip bowl where I live. You know, not the best conditions. I'm not trying to showcase, you know, any, any A grade surfing. I'm just trying to show you how the board goes and what I kind of got it for. You know, I surfed a rip bowl. We filmed a session. I think there might be a few waves in this review. And I think I filmed for an hour and there's around 15 or 18 waves, which is pretty good for an hour of surfing. Um, it's no Italo Ferreira, but 
it is a lot of waves for an average surfer surfing in a rip bowl on the east coast of Australia. And the good thing was it just kept my wave kind of out, kept moving, kept warm, and just was having a whole damn lot of fun. Uh, we've got some footage and some other, you know, variety conditions. Thing paddled well, you know, it, it took late drops pretty well, got on a lot of waves, and it was a whole lot of fun. You know, if you're familiar with following the Surfboard Guide, you've probably seen the last two years, we've been kind of fans of uh, mid-lengths. Mid-lengths are epic. There's lots I like about them. I like getting on waves early, I like upping my wave count. I like sometimes just standing there and trimming and feel like I'm ripping, but I'm not actually doing anything. Um, and they're epic. And kind of all those things I could take away from mid-length and put in this board. But what this did, sometimes mid-lengths can be a bit limiting. You know, mid-lengths I'm talking like 6'10", 7 foot. They're big long boards and sometimes they're limiting on how they turn or when they turn or where they turn. The Adelaide didn't have that limitation. It had all the pluses from the volume, the paddle, the really nice trim speed, really stable, really good board feel. But then if I wanted to jam like a short board kind of-esque turn, the Adelaide felt really quite good, not too dissimilar to my normal, you know, 6.0, 31 and a half, 32 litre kind of short boards. So it was cool to kind of pull the best of both worlds from a, you know, mid-length trim speed paddle power and that, you know, short board performance turn, you know, feel like you're ripping or whatever uh, and bring it into one package. So that was absolutely epic. Um, I don't know, the Adelie, I guess, is designed for someone going from like beginner, intermediate, really progressing into that short board world. Um, you know, maybe going from mini mal, mid-length, hypto crypto oversized kind of boards into a more of a performance outline. And this is a 6.0 and I think they go down in stock to a 5.8. And the 5.8, I was kind of tempted to grab uh, 35 liters, I think, and it kind of had a bit of a dumpster diver feel to it. Anyone's familiar with that board, but it was still kind of probably a bit bigger for me. But yeah, they can bring it down. So if you're a bigger guy, it rides around that volume. You could grab the 5.8 and it's kind of got that really, you know, step down, small wave, grobble shortboard feel. Yeah, but I want to think with my kind of mid-length volume, paddle power and kind of trim. And I got that all in this nice Atelier package. Uh, in the Atelier, I wouldn't stress out too much over fins, but you know, we tried a few things out and I'd like to share that with you. So uh, sometimes I found it really hard when a shaper has a fin to go past the shaper's fin in the board. And I did that here with the Hayden Shapes HS1s by Futures. So these are the large um, Hayden Shapes by Futures and they are, um, they're from the Generation Series, which has their V2 foil, which is a speed generating fin. So these are great when waves are small, waves are weak, or you're just trying to generate speed. But they have a really nice feel through the carbon. They're not too stiff. They have a nice flex through the tip. And they actually work, you know, through medium to large waves. So anything from kind of one foot to, you know, double overhead, overhead. These are a really great fin. So they felt absolutely epic in the Adelia. Everyone that DMs me, comments, always wants to go, I'll oh, try a twin fin in it. Um, so <laughs> we did, we tried a few different things. Um, I really like the Rasta Twins by Futures, um, which is a two plus one. Um, they were a really nice fin, felt, still felt fast, uh, felt easy to surf, but with that smaller center fin, they felt much more pivoty. Not skatey, not kind of like out of control, but definitely more pivoty. So I'd say if you're getting your Atlier and you grab it and you're feeling like it's big and it's bulky and you're actually struggling to, to move it through the water, maybe try a two plus one setup. Um, tried it without the stabilizer. It didn't feel good at all. It felt, it didn't have, it just, yeah, it wasn't me. Uh, this, but the twin with the stabilizer felt really good. So. I'd go a thruster set you like. Um, if you want that kind of really nice all round mid-length shortboard kind of feel. But if it's feeling big, you want to loosen it up, you want a nicer pivot to do kind of steeper and, and more sudden kind of turns, I'll go with two plus one and I really like the rasters by Futures. Uh, overall, I was really impressed by the Adelia. 
you know, like I said, I went to Hayden Shapes, there was two Atliers, there's a cruiser, the performance cruiser, and I was really torn which one to get. But like I said, I want something that had paddle power, trim speed, but also had that kind of shortboard performance. So I went with a performance cruiser with a short, pointy, shortboard S kind of front end, and I'm stoked I did. Uh, the thing was lots of fun. Paddle onto absolutely everything. I'm battling people in line up to waves, getting across flat sections. When, you know, I'm praying for high tides for little rip bolts to turn on, I'm on absolutely every wave and having a whole lot of fun. Who's the board for? I think it's for almost anyone. If you're a beginner, intermediate, going into that kind of short board uh, market, you want something that's really forgiving, it's got foam and it's stable, the Atelier Performance Cruiser is definitely that. It's gonna let you kind of move into a shorter board and be able to do turns like cutbacks, you know, try and turn vertically and really progress your surfing. But I also think if you're an intermediate, you know, through to an advanced surfer, if you're watching reviews, um, the thing's epic. Like it paddles on everything like a, um, like a, like a mid-length, it fits in the car a little bit better. You know, you get a section where you want to jam, like a performance kind of turn, the thing can do it. Um, and you know, you want to throw, you know, the wife, partner, kids, whatever, the thing's stable as hell and it's kind of fun for everyone. Um, if you check out Hayden Shapes, they're actually priced really well, a little bit less than um, your normal, you know, short boards, your hip though, all that sort of stuff. So I think they're priced really well and a really good entry point, I think, to people for the shortboard market or people that are kind of undecided about this type of board. Look, overall, Atli was heaps of fun, so easy to surf, got a whole bunch of waves and it was really cool to check out. Thanks so much for Hayden Shapes for the chance to check one out and hope you get a chance to check one out too. Thanks for watching.